Good morning and welcome to this uh, presentation on the Liturgy of the Hours. My name is Christopher Karstens. I'm the Director of the Office for Sacred Worship in the Diocese of La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm the editor and publisher of the uh, liturgical bulletin called the Adoramus Bulletin. I'm an alum of the Liturgical Institute and I'm also currently a visiting faculty member for the Liturgical Institute. Uh, and I'm glad to be able to present uh, this morning on the Liturgy of the Hours. And as we begin, I'd like you to consider this picture. Uh, certainly you recognize uh, the person on the right, this is Pope Benedict uh, XVI. Uh, to his right, our left, is his older brother, Georg. And both of these uh, brothers were ordained in 1951. So in uh, this liturgist math is uh, correct, in the year 2021, uh, they both celebrated their 70th anniversary to the priesthood. Uh, Georg died in uh, 2021, and together you see them praying uh, what is the Liturgy of the Hours. I just want you to think how many times uh, a priest, for example, or a pope would celebrate the Liturgy of the Hours, just say in a ministry, a priesthood that lasted 50 years. Well, if you prayed this five times a day, 365 uh, days in the year, over 50 years, you would have 91,250 different occasions to pray the Liturgy of the Hours. And if each of these times was 10 minutes each, this adds up to about 15,000 hours or 634 constant days. This is just trying to make the point that a priest, for example, or a religious is opening up his uh, breviary, as it's often called, uh, almost as often as he says the Mass. If you say a daily Mass, that lasts 50 minutes, and you're praying uh, your office, and that is uh, 50 minutes, you're using the breviary just as much as you are the Mass. And so the question is, if one is going to pray the Liturgy of the Hours that often, why don't we try to uh, love it uh, at the same time that we do it, and that it's not just, uh, uh, just kind of random rote uh, words. And that's what I hope to accomplish in this uh, section together today. So uh, what we're gonna do over the course of the five sections is uh, first talk about what's called the Laudis Canticum, or what is uh, we would call the Hymn of Praise. And this is what is the reality of the Liturgy of the Hours, what's going on behind the scenes. Second, we're going to look at the foundations of the Liturgy of the Hours, uh, uh, how the Psalms, we're going to take a closer look at the Psalms and consider the different hours that uh, make up the Liturgy of the Hours. Third, we're going to look uh, practically how to actually pray one of the hours of the Liturgy of the Hours. Fourth, we're going to see historically how it is that uh, we moved from Jesus' command to pray without ceasing, to pray constantly, to ending up with uh, four volumes. This is uh, one of the volumes, four volumes of a 2,000 page book. How is it that we got there over the course of time? And fifthly, we'll look at how is we can pray it more fruitfully, more spiritually. Or if we want to uh, summarize it this way, session one will be about the theology of the Liturgy of the Hours. Session two, about the sacramentality of the Liturgy of the Hours. Session three, the practicality of the Liturgy of the Hours. Four will be about the history of the Liturgy of the Hours. And five will be about the spirituality of the Liturgy of the Hours. I'd like to point out uh, the sources uh, from which uh, this presentation has come. Uh, the first is from the Apostolic Constitution of Pope Paul VI called Laudis Canticum. This is the letter with which he promulgated the current Liturgy of the Hours after the Second Vatican Council. <clears throat> John Paul II, for his part, uh, did a series of, uh, as you may know, the popes do uh, Wednesday catecheses. And for a long part of his papacy, he spent the Wednesdays doing catecheses on the psalms and the canticles of morning prayer. Every single psalm and every single canticle at morning prayer, he did uh, some catechesis on. And then he began to do uh, catechesis on the psalms and the canticles of evening prayer, and that's uh, when he died. So. Pope uh, Benedict XVI picked up the baton and completed uh, the catechesis on the Psalms. And he also wrote a letter called Verbum Domini in 2010. Uh, you might remember we celebrated a year devoted to St. Paul and uh, the place of the Word of God in the church. And so at the end of that year, the Holy Father wrote uh, this uh, letter called Verbum Domini. That will be another one of the sources. 
And then finally, uh, we're using uh, this, uh, the general instruction of the Liturgy of the Hours that uh, it appears at the beginning of uh, the book. So the sources are all primary here. They're magisterial sources from the church itself. But I've also drawn from some, mostly for historical purposes, uh, these are uh, kind of standard texts, certainly in uh, the, the area of the Liturgy of the Hours. The one is uh, a volume of The Church at Prayer, edited by Marta Morn. And the other is uh, Liturgy of the Hours, East and West, by Father uh, Robert Taft. 